Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we are on chapter number one, that is characteristics and life processes of living organisms. So my dear students, today I will deliver its third lecture and in today's lecture, we will talk about characteristics of plants and animals respiration. So my dear students, let's start the chapter uh, with the recap uh, today's lecture. So quickly listen to the question very carefully and then answer them. So my dear students here, you can see some pictures. So quickly tell me that how plants and animals show growth. In the previous lecture, we growth or movement ki characteristic padi thi living things. Ke andar. Quickly think and tell me that plants or animals growth kaise show growth. Very good. Now quickly tell me how plants show movement. By moving their different body organs like stems, roots and leaves. So that is how they show movement. Now how and why animals move? Animals move to find food, water and shelter and to stay away from danger. Okay, my dear students, now let's move forward towards an activity. Quickly look at the pictures and then tell me, look at them very carefully, that what is respiration? Kya aapne kabhi ye word suna hai? Respiration. Respiration saans lene ke process ko kehte hai, jab aap saans andar kheshte hai aur phir bai nikalte hai saans ko. To ye hawa ko andar leke jana aur bahir nikalne ke process ko Respiration kehte hai. Basically, it is the process of gas exchange. So, do animals breathe? Yes, they breathe. And what do you think? Do plants breathe? Yes, plants also breathe because both animals and plants are living things. So, both breathe. So, my dear students, in today's uh, lecture, students will be able to compare and contrast characteristics that distinguish major groups of living things, plants and animals. And today, we will talk about respiration the correct characteristics of characteristic of respiration so my dear students first look at the islamic perspective allah is the creator of everything and he has charge over everything so my dear students allah taala hum sab ke khaliq hain hame banane wale hain aur allah taala ka har cheez ke upar jo hai wo control hai charge hai wo in charge hai is duniya ke to jisko chahta hai wo zindagi dete hain jisko chahta hai uski zindagi khatam kar dete hain हम सांस ले रहे हैं हम बड़े हो रहे हैं हम जो भी काम कर रहे हैं ये हर चीज जो है वो अल्लाह ताला की मर्जी से हो रही है सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर प्री रीडिंग क्वेश्चन क्विकली लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन हाउ प्लांट्स डू ब्रीदिंग यानी कि ब्रीदिंग प्रोसेस प्लांट्स में कैसे होता है कभी आपने सोचा है इफ यू डू नॉट नो दैट आई विल टेल यू दैट इन द अपकमिंग लेक्चर यानी कि अभी मैं आपको आगे लेक्चर में ये एक्सप्लेन करूंगी So my dear students, uh, let's quickly recap the characteristics of um, animals and plants or the living things. Movement, growth, respiration, eating and feeding, reproduction, sense and respond and excretion. So these are the characteristics of living things, plants and animals. So my dear students, now is the time for reading. Quickly open respiration page on page number six in your science four books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So, my dear students, let's start the reading. Respiration. Is ko hum breathing process bhi kehte hai, gas exchange ka process bhi kehte hai. Respiration here means breathing. Plants and animals breathe their own ways. Plants breathe through leaves while animals through lungs. So, my dear students, dono jo jandar hai, plants or animals, dono hi saans lete hai, breathe karte hai, which is called respiration. Dono ka breathing process alag hai, janwar aur insaan jo hai, wo apne lungs se, jo ke aapki chest mein present hote hai, unse saans lete hai. Whereas plants breathe through their leaves. Yani ke plants ka jo breathing portion hai, jahaan par jahaan se wo saans lete hai, ya jahaan gas exchange hota hai, those are leaves. Ab लीव्स में कैसे गैस एक्सचेंज होता है या ब्रीदिंग होती है आई विल टेल यू दैट सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स रेस्पिरेशन एनिमल्स ब्रीथ थ्रू लंग्स 
तो जो गैस प्रोसेस है एनिमल्स के अंदर वो उनके लंग्स के थ्रू होता है दीज आर द लंग्स तो दे टेक इन द गैस एंड देन टेक आउट और ये जो गैस है ये सीधी उनके लंग्स में जाती है फ्रॉम द नोज नाउ हाउ डू एनिमल्स सॉरी द प्लांट्स ब्रीथ प्लांट्स ब्रीथ थ्रू स्टोमेटा ऑन देर लीव्स ये स्टोमेटाज आपको नजर नहीं आते बट दे आर ऑन द लीव्स ये लीव्स के अंदर होते हैं और यहाँ जो है वो गैस एक्सचेंज होती है और इनके थ्रू जो है वो एयर जो है वो अंदर ली जाती है प्लांट से और दैट्स हाउ दे ब्रीथ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ये अंदर लेते हैं और ऑक्सीजन को ये बाहर निकालते हैं थ्रू द स्टोमेटाज ऑन देर लीव्स यानी कि इनके लीव्स के ऊपर छोटे छोटे होल्स होते हैं जो आपको नजर नहीं आते दीज आर कॉल्ड स्टोमेटाज और यहाँ पर गैस एक्सचेंज होता है सो so, दोनों में ही रेस्पायरेशन होती है एनिमल्स में भी और प्लांट्स में भी नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर अवेल्यूएशन क्विकली लिसन टू द क्वेश्चन हाउ एनिमल्स ब्रीथ एनिमल्स ब्रीथ थ्रू देयर लंग्स वेरी गुड नाउ हाउ प्लांट्स डू रेस्पायरेशन थ्रू देयर लीव्स प्लांट्स रेस्पायर और ब्रीथ थ्रू देयर लीव्स ओके माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इज द टाइम फॉर प्रैक्टिस फॉर प्रैक्टिस यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस वर्कशीट From the description box below this video, or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So write down your name and your roll number, and then tick the correct option. These are multiple option questions, so you have to tick the correct option. So the process of breathing is digestion, circulation, respiration, none. So it is respiration. Plants respire through cells, cell membrane, gills, or stomata. They respire through stomata. Animals respire through kidneys, brain. heat or lungs heart or lungs they respire through lungs so what is respiration it is the breathing process so how plants and animals respire animals respire through their lungs and plants respire through their leaves so this is how you will pause the uh, video and you will complete the worksheet I hope you have finished the worksheet. So, my dear students, quickly submit it to your teacher, and we will move forward. So, my dear students, now quickly note down your homework. You will do home activity number one. This is independent activity. Different animals show different movements. Here is a list list of different modes of movement that various animals adapt to move. Name the animal that crawl, glide, climb, jump, and run. So, आपको लिखनी है यहाँ पर इस तरीके से आप कॉलम ड्रॉ करेंगे. One side पे आप लिखेंगे movement. and you will name down crawl glide climb jump and run and then you will write here animals so then you will write down the names ki kaun sa animal jo hai wo crawl karta hai kaun sa animal glide karta hai kaun sa animal jump karta hai aur kaun sa run karta hai so this is how you will complete this in your notebooks so my dear students this is independent number activity number 1 it is given on page number 6 so my dear students now is the time for wrap up So my dear students today we have learned that the process of breathing is called respiration animals breathe through lungs and plants breathe through stomata on their leaves So my dear students I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture aapne ek aur characteristic dekh liya living things ka which is called respiration dono ka dono respiration dono mein hoti hai lekin usko express karne ka ya usko perform karne ka tarika dono mein different hai but both are living things and both respire uh, keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much anala